Hello, Actor Sage here on the Sage channel, and an update has come out for Space Engineers that I felt warranted a quick video. This is basically an update to allow the devs to make more progress in Space Engineers while still maybe releasing weekly updates. The basic gist is your game's no longer going to update weekly. That's right, Space Engineers is no longer going to update weekly for most people unless you want to. Now, what I mean by this is really simple, that they've branched the development. So basically, if you go to your Space Engineers here in Steam, you right-click on it, you go to Properties, and you go to Betas, and then click this pull-down right here, and if I click it, it's got a bunch of stuff I should probably not show. Well, there's going to be a dev branch in there called development or something like that. They don't actually show this or tell it in the proper thing, but everyone should have access to that to now. You just click that pull down and there will be a development build in there. You'll go ahead and click that and your game will update to this. Now, this is a branch that they plan to actually update weekly, but the main reason they've done this is this is so they can actually go ahead and put updates into the game that might break everything, as in they might go ahead and change the way maybe, if I don't know, asteroids work, and all of a sudden they're always coming at you at all times and you have to defend yourself, and they didn't intend for that, but they're not going to rush out and fix it right away because this is the development branch, the main idea being they can experiment a little bit more, but still let people go ahead and test it out. Now, like I said, everyone isn't going to be bombarded with this every week. So if you get yourself bombarded with asteroids out of the blue or the game starts getting worse all of a sudden on a Thursday, well, there's a good chance you've gone ahead and switched it over to development. Go ahead, right-click that son of a gun and go back to your betas. Go ahead and switch it off of that back to none opt out of these beta programs and it should automatically go ahead, or at least if you click play, it'll go ahead and definitely download it, switch you back over to the, what they're calling the stable build. This is a version of the game they plan to only put features into once they're sure they're not going to break everything else under the sun. So there you go, guys. I just thought I'd make that clear that once again, the game has split into two branches. One, which they're going to try to keep very stable, and one where they're going to experiment around with, put the updates in there, and once they get it somewhat stable, or hopefully, it better be actually, completely stable, push it onto the live build for everyone to get. But remember, if you want to get the unstable one so you can fiddle around with upcoming features, go ahead and right-click that thing and switch it over to development. Anyway, guys and gals, I just want to show that. If you'd like to see the actual list of fixes for this week, um, which is just fixes, you can go ahead and hit the link down below. There's that whole thing there with all that stuff. Or watch the official update video where Joel goes over some of them. Anyway, thanks a bunch, guys and gals, for watching, and I shall see you next time. Ta -ta. A little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. If you tip me over and pour me out, oops, see Daisy, I'm all out. Oh.